Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a first impression review of the Kylie Kai Shadow, the Burgundy Palette. I ordered this um, on the second release, so the Monday that it was released again, and I got it so quickly. I was so excited to test it out and see how it does. So it's actually the look that I've got on my eyes today. I used um, the Kylie Shadows and one other because I will go over that when I'm reviewing it. Um, but first I did want to say if you enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up or if you're excited for the Kylie palettes, give it a thumbs up. And then don't forget to subscribe so that you're getting notifications when I'm posting new videos. And I will have all the products that I have used on my face today, what I'm wearing, listed in the description box below, as well as my social media, so where you can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. And let's go ahead and get into this. Alright, so first I'm actually going to start with my eyes today. So the first thing I'm going to do is use my Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion in Original. I'm just going to put that on my finger and put it all over my eyelid like I normally do. And once I've got my eyelids pretty well coated, I'm going to set that with a white or bone colored eyeshadow. The one I'm using today is the Stila Eyes Are the Window palette, uh, the Mind one. So I'll just take a fluffy brush and dip it into the cream shadow and just dab that all over the lid to make my shadows easier to blend. Especially since I'm not familiar with the Kylie palette, I'll need something to help me blend it out a little bit better. Alright, and once that's all set, I'm going to start it on the Kylie palette. So a lot of these colors are quite deep, so it's... There's no highlight shade in there that I can really use, so first I'm going to start out with um, the top middle shade right here, and that's called Beach. And I'm just going to put that on my blending crease brush. It definitely has a lot of kickback. And just put that in the crease. So when I like dipped the brush into the powder, there was a lot of powder kicking off, but I will say it blends really pretty on the eyelid. And it's really pigmented. A lot goes, a little goes a long way. All right. Once I've got my crease set pretty well, I'm gonna go in with the golden shade right here called LA or Dubai. I'm not sure which one's which. But I'm just going to take a big fluffy shadow brush and put that all over the lid. Wow. I barely dipped my brush in that shadow and it is just incredibly pigmented. And it doesn't seem to have much fallout and I heard in the bronze palette that there was a lot of issues with the shimmery shades but this one is really really incredible actually. Alright and since this is the burgundy palette I do want to use some burgundy shades not just all golds and browns like I normally do so I'm going in with the very center shade here called burgundy and I'm going to take a denser crease brush and I'm going to use that in the crease as well. And then I'm going to go back in with that first shade again, which was Beach, just a tiny bit, just to make sure everything's blended and it's not too crazy looking. <laughs> <clears throat> but I do 
think this is a very beautiful look. It's very, very warm, which is really nice, and I like it a lot because it's a good mixture of shimmers and mattes instead of so many mattes. I know a lot of people like matte shadows, but this is a great one that gives you some good options. The one thing it is missing for sure is definitely a highlight shade or a base shade. Okay, now that I'm back, my face is fully done. Alright, and then I'm just going back into that Stila palette, and I'm just going to use that same bone shade, which is actually called Brilliance. And that's going to be my highlighting shade for the brow bone and the inner corner. Which it is just matte, so it shouldn't take away from the rest of the look. So first of all, the one problem I have with it is that it doesn't have like a bone color. You can see here's all the thing, all the colors. I'll insert a little bit closer up with some slightly better lighting. Um, the lightest color it has is this one called Naked, and um, it's just not light enough for someone with my fair skin tone. So I had to use a bone color from a different palette as kind of my base shadow after I used um, an eyeshadow primer and that was one issue I had with it but other than that these shadows are amazing the mattes do have a little bit of kickoff when you dip your brush into them but it's really not that bad and when I was applying them on my eyes I didn't notice much fallout if any underneath my eyes um, and I was using some pretty dark shades like the middle burgundy shade that it's named after. I use that all in my crease th today and it blended out so easily. It looks really gorgeous on. And I know previously people had some issues with the bronze palette shimmer shades. I don't have that palette so I can't really speak to it that much. But the shimmer shades in this palette, they are the best colors in here. They are so incredibly creamy. You barely have to touch them and then when you drag them across with your finger or with a brush, it just goes on smoothly, fully pigmented, none of that powderiness that you can sometimes get when you swatch a matte shade, and they were just truly beautiful colors. And I'll insert my swatching on my arm so you can kind of see what I'm talking about when it comes to how good the shimmer shades really are. And, and I did swatch the shades. We've got Naked. Beach, Henny, LA, Burgundy, Dubai, Brick, New York, and Almond. I don't think this is, palette is necessarily a one and done palette all the time. There are definitely some one and done looks you can get out of it. But like I said, it is missing that light bone shade. It is missing some really dark shades that you could use as a liner. So this is definitely a palette that... I would get and use all these colors, but I would probably mix them with some other palettes that I've already got so that I could get deeper looks. These are definitely, I don't want to call them colorful, really the only colorful ones are the burgundy shade and penny, um, but it is kind of a colorful palette, not really your one and done palette. But I do love it. I think if you've got the bronze palette, then you've got your go-to looks in just two palettes pretty easily. This is my first purchase from Kylie Cosmetics. I probably will be getting more. I really want some of her liquid lips. I'm going to ask for those for Christmas probably. Um, the palette was a little bit expensive, but I will say for nine shadows and I paid after shipping and everything about $50. Um, so it's really not that badly priced. It's a little more than $5 a shadow and really is that much is it that much more than some of our drugstore shadow palettes that we get? Not really, and you're getting better quality. 
Um, I know a lot of people kind of back and forth with Kylie Jenner, but I do think that the cosmetic line that she has is actually turning out quite well. Um, and the quality of the shadows really is beautiful. I'm really excited to use it some more. I, after my first impression, it's definitely something I'm going to keep using. And I hope you all enjoyed this little review. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up, like I said at the beginning. And then don't forget to subscribe so that you can see more. I'll probably be using this palette in some looks for some getting ready stuff. Um, and then once again, check the description box for any information you need about me. And then if you do have any questions, please leave them in the comments down below. And then also if you have any suggestions or ideas or anything that you want to see from me, go ahead and comment that down below there as well. I would love to hear from you all. It's definitely an exciting part of my day when I can come home and get on YouTube and I see that I've got a few comments to respond to. I do try to respond to most of them. <laughs> and that is all for today. See you all next Monday. Bye.